Hello my lovelies, I am back. I chose to do makeup today and I chose a full face. Sorry if I look really pale, it's just not picking up very well on the camera. Now, my last video I spoke about bits about my relationship with my mum, my parents' divorce, why I am the way I am, and I said there was going to be a part two. This is the part two. I'm trying to be um, as happy and as cheery as I can, but obviously it's not the happiest times to um, talk about. So, other than that, let's get started. So, I was talking about when, um, you know, I want to talk more into depth about my mum. And I would say my relationship with her, but it's my brother's kind of at the time but then now he's gonna have a different relationship to what i've got with her because she's not the same as she was and i want to tell you more than one story about this you know go into um a bit more detail you know sorry about the mess of my hair i just threw it together today it was just one of those days. I honestly just can't be bothered today. If I'm to be honest. I just... I knew I was going to be doing this video. So... There was this one occasion where my... Brother went to... Before we get into it, my brother went to a special needs school because he's mildly autistic. And I'm on the spectrum somewhere, I don't know where, somewhere. <laughs> doesn't bother me, doesn't stop me, I still get out there, do things, blah blah blah, anyway. And he was struggling a bit in school, um, stuff like that. You know, but he went to a really good school. It was amazing. The best school that catered for his needs. And I'm really, really pleased about that. Um, and um, my mum kept complaining when my parents were separating. And this was just before the divorce. My mum kept complaining that we were playing her up. Or more like playing her up. And, you know, I love her to bits. I just, as I said in the last video, I don't like her and everything she does. And, yeah, and so she felt she needed help with our behaviour. And she wanted to get some outside help thinking that the outside help can sort us out you know and so she she did that but the outside help that turned up was my brother's deputy head of his school which She's an amazing woman. She's a lovely lady. I say is. I say I'd rather say was because he doesn't go to school anymore. Obviously, he has nothing. He has nothing to do with them anymore. Because he naturally, it's what happens when you leave school. Unless you want to keep in contact with your teachers, then some people do. Yeah, you know, let them know how they're getting on with college and whatever else. He is next month my brother's well Ryan he's going to be twenty five. So he left school a long time ago. Anyway, so um his deputy head came round to ours, I think yeah, once a week or once a month. I don't know what day it was. I don't know if it was different days or the same day. Um, but where he likes his routine 
I think they tried to stick to the same day so that he knew what was going on. It kind of helped me as well. We all like a bit of a routine, don't we? So, um, so his deputy head came round and helped him with the problems that mum said that he had at home. Um, she said that he, you know, he was really naughty, really playing up. And she wanted this outside help to sort me out as well. Because apparently we were naughty as in we didn't do as we were told. I don't believe in, you know, you do as you're told, blah, blah, blah. I s you're doing that. Because I said so. I don't like that kind of parenting. And if you watch my favourite YouTubers. That is the Ingham family. Which I love so much. How they parent the girls and Jace. Is how I would imagine myself parenting my children. If I had children. It's just I love the way they parent. I mean the girls might bicker. Here and there, they don't have full on scrap, I'm gonna get you type thing. You know, they're a lovely family, I love them. This video's not about saying how amazing they are, but they've come into it. Anyway, that me talking about my favourite YouTubers and why I like them will be a separate video. I've told you guys I'm gonna do a video. Anyway, so it turns out that. She did a sort of super nanny, as in she explained to mum, look, I have to tell you where you're going wrong to have you see why your kids are going wrong or go, well, going wrong, yeah. So, you know, she would say to her, look, there's this and this going on and that explains such and such. Anyway, cut that long story short because this story's quite long. She told mum that this and this is not right. You know, there's another way of doing it. And she did help Ryan with certain tasks that he needed help with to help him find a good, easy way of getting them done and, you know... So that that was good. And it was nice to have someone to talk to. Because whenever we would have problems or we felt mum was not good with this and that. You know, she often said to us in private when mum would go off. Is there anything you feel with your mum that's not quite right that you want to tell me privately about? And sometimes that happened. You know, Ryan didn't always feel comfortable doing that. Because it's, it's his mum. He didn't want to feel like he was not ratting her out. But you know what I mean. He didn't want to feel like... I think he was worried that he was going to get her into trouble. But, you know, the help was good and it, it worked. So, during that help, she was saying that there's... A special school grant where the students can get things like laptops and maybe other stuff um, to help them with their schoolwork. And Ryan wasn't really interested. He was very... I'm not really keen on that idea. So, I said I would benefit from having one to do my schoolwork on. I went to a mainstream school, but it didn't quite... Care. It was a good school... It didn't cater for my needs. And I couldn't go to my brother's school because that also wouldn't cater to my needs. The work would be too easy, if that makes sense. Not trying to be horrible. It's amazing. Both two completely different schools, different sides of the spectrum. Both amazing schools, but they didn't cater for my needs. So... I stayed at my mainstream school, but I had to have extra help by a learning support, which was every single lesson. 
it got to the point where there was certain work that we did in registration before going to lesson and I even struggled with that so I went to a learning support room which is for those who needed to go in there for extra help and every registration I went in there instead for my last year of school and I liked school I just didn't like the people that went there that weren't so nice to me which will be a separate video so going back to this school grant I said yes I'd love to have a laptop brilliant so my mum went and arranged it, got the laptop, it, it, you know, she got it all sorted, the laptop was at home, it, it was given to me, it was mine, her friend's son um, helped me set it up and set up the Wi-Fi and what did I want my homepage to be? Facebook or Google and I had Facebook back then off so I said Google please I went on Facebook a fair bit but it wasn't for social it was for homework although I could have done social stuff on there which I did do as well as with the homework which was really which was good it's what I wanted it for and it was a weekend coming up it was mine and Ryan's weekend to be with dad because there was a court um, agreement that they all signed it including both of their solicitors um, agreeing on which weekends we see dad and see mum etc etc and um, it was dad's weekend for us to be over there I don't know if it was a Saturday um, 10 o'clock till 5 then come home or a Friday to Sunday I think it was a Friday to Sunday I'm not sure but I remember I think it was a Friday to Sunday and the court order was that we would have um, a Saturday um, and Sunday with our mum because that's who we lived with at the time and then we would have a Saturday 10 till 5 and then Sunday 10 till 5 two separate days seeing dad and then we would have Friday to Sunday with dad that was the agreement forget which order it went in but that's pretty much how they agreed to go but mum kept trying to change it so that things would suit her she only wanted to see us when it would suit her or say to dad for him to see us for it to suit her so if she wanted to see a man she would try and change it so she could dump us two on dad so she would see a bloke it was things like that but that's not part of this story that's another story so i thought i was so happy wow i loved it a, a, a brand and my first ever laptop, I felt on top of the world, like, wow, I felt amazing, okay, amazing, so I thought, I've got to show, I've got to show dad, you know, wow, so dad picked us up, um, Friday, um, evening after school, we were sent in dirty clothes we were always sent in dirty clothes so whenever we went off of dad he would look people would look and think that he's neglecting us and putting us out in dirty clothes but he wasn't my mum would do that on purpose to make him look bad it's just a thing she did and he would often have to wash them and buy us new clothes my grandparents often brought us new clothes so that when we went to dad's we had nice new clean clothes to wear and they shouldn't have to have done that but it was mum's fault that they did her responsibility we went we did say to mum why do you send us dirty clothes to daddy's for and it's she always denied it and she still denies that she did that and it's like we don't forget like come on woman anyway i keep going off topic <laughs> so i had uh, 
left it behind at Dad's at the time. And I came back without it. Mum went ballistic and said, where's your effing laptop? Where is it? Blah, blah, blah. And I said, oh, well, I've left it at Dad's. But what I do is I can bring it back when I want to use it. But then I said, I, I'll, I've i chosen to keep it over there anyway so that Dad can sit there and um, he's putting pictures on it for me and music on it for me. And I thought if I have it there for a bit, he can help me with bits of homework I need help with. Because I said, you know, it's not your strong point and that's, un that's fine, but it is Dad's. So I know he can... His strong point, he he'll be able to help me, especially if it's something like maths or English. He he's really good. I mean, he passed his maths with distinction. So if I ever had maths problems, he would be the one I'd go to. He is very very good. I don't know what distinction is in today society, but back then, it's I think it's like a today's higher than an A plus, I'm not sure, anyway, he's really good, so, um, um, I, dad had finished putting the music that I wanted on there, the pictures that I wanted on there, he helped me sort out my wallpaper, because I didn't know how to do that, and me and technology were just not best friends, I know technology a lot better now, but we're still not the best of pals. Sometimes I want to scream at it, like, why won't you do what I'm asking you to do? So, uh, my mum saw some pictures of an actress, not mention any names, and she said there were some inappropriate ones. And I said, they're not really. And Dad said, no, they're not. And... I went through them and my mum kept trying to find pictures. She kept trying to make something into something that it wasn't in the first place, if you get what I mean. And um, <clears throat> there was nothing inappropriate on there. My dad would never do that for one. And he would never have that on his on our family computer that we've still got anyway. Not if me and mine are going to be on there using it. Why would you? He's just not like, why would you? It's not like that for a start. You know, who in their right mind would have inappropriate images for young kids to possibly come across? Like, that's just not him at all. Anyway, so the next thing that had happened is the ones mum didn't like to keep her happy and sweet sorry, I'm just, this made me cross, to keep her happy and sweet, I deleted the ones that she wasn't happy with, not that there was anything wrong with them, but, I had to please her a lot, and I still feel like I have to, I don't, I, I, I tell her as it is today, I was afraid to do that years ago, but now I tell her as it is, it does, this story escalates, it gets worse, I'm not finished, so, mum is very, I will confiscate this from you, you're not doing as you're told with it, and then I just said, well, I, I don't want it here, so, I wanted it with dad, and mum was complaining and said, come on, no you're not, I'm not letting you, she said, if you effing do such and such, it was always empty threats, you know. It, she still does empty threats today and I, I try not to laugh because it's like, yeah, okay. So <clears throat> I found that my laptop had um, voice record on it and I had so much fun. I was always mucking around on that. I loved mucking around with it. I just... It was it was really entertaining for me at the time. And then this one time I was drying my hair and I went downstairs for something. I ever went down to do something or mum called me or something I can't remember. And I left the hair dryer on and it melted a load of keys on the laptop. And my dad's got a friend 
who is a computer whiz. He knows everything there is to know. Anything. There isn't anything he doesn't know. Like, he is just... Oh, he's he's who we go to. No one else. And I, I said, I, I need a new keyboard or at least new keys that are missing. So I said to him, can we contact your friend and get him to sort it? He said, you have to leave it at mine for a while then to it's sorted. I said, yeah, OK, I'm fine to do that, happy to do that. And then I thought, it's my laptop, it's not mum's, I don't need her permission. So I took it over there, left it with him. Mum asked, where's my laptop? I said, you mean my laptop? Oh, oh, Dad's got a friend who's going to fix and sort the keys out. It's fine. It's over with him. She said, I don't want it there. I said, it's not actually yours. You can't really do that. And she went mental, was really cross. And, um, a week had passed. And it was Dad's weekend to have me and Ryan again. So we went over there. And the um, it was great. Um, we had a nice weekend. And then we, it was a Sunday. And we were dropped back off to mum's where we were living at the time and my mum's friend she had a friend that always influenced her and gave her lots of ideas of how to treat and discipline me and Ryan and you know how to deal with us as if we were a problem to be dealt with like I don't know so, the my dad gets a phone call, and then a knock on the door. The police are at the door, and he's thinking, "What's going on?" So, <clears throat> the police um rock up at the door and say, "Um, Lynn wants her laptop back. She's called us and reported." The fact that Elise, who is your daughter, I believe, has stolen it from her. And Dad was like, what? He was kind of confused. So my mum had called the police and said that I stole her laptop off her. And they came round to obviously get it back. But they said that there's no proof of any receipt that she had paid for it or anything like that. You know, so they couldn't really give it to her. And they, my dad said, you know, why don't we call Elise now and we ask her where she wants her laptop. And they agreed and said, yep, okay, we do that. So dad called me. The police came on the phone. Again, not saying names. I remember both police officers' names. But... I'm not going to say, you know me. So they said, hi, is this Elise speaking? I said, yes, hello, how are you? Um, I'm fine, how are you? I said, I'm okay. And they said, no need to worry about a thing. So they asked me, where would I like my laptop? And I said, I'd like to have it at my dad's, please. And they said, OK, that's fine. Thank you very much for your time. Sorry to bother you. I think was the exact word. Something like that, you know. And they obviously, dad um, wished me a nice day or nice evening or whatever it was. And he, we hang up the call so he could you know talk to the police further and you know see see them out i mean they they left and whatever happened dad said i don't know i wasn't there obviously and then when they asked me where i'd like it at that point mum wasn't in the room she had to go to the toilet and the police said to dad before they left that they won't be surprised because this is the second time the police had mum called them about something.
well, they were involved about something. They said to Dad they they wouldn't be surprised if I came to live with him, and I'd hell live with him. So they knew Mum. They knew what was going on. They knew that Mum was willing to go as far as she could to stop my dad using something that she paid for. That was the thing. If my mum had paid for something, she wouldn't want my dad to have any use out of it. Anyway, that goes to another story. So, but this one's not finished. What had happened next was, is that mum was cross that my laptop was able to stay at dad's and she wasn't she she wasn't satisfied she was cross that it wasn't under her possession you know that she didn't have control so her friend at the time that's still her friend um i don't really like her i didn't then and i still don't now i tolerate and i'm polite but in my head i'm like i don't like you she's um She's not the nicest of people, but, you know, and she gave my mum the idea of take it back to the shop, get a receipt and sign it. So my mum did exactly that, called the police and said, it is mine, I do want it back, she's not having it now, I can prove it to you. So she actually showed them the receipt that she went to the effort to get and sign. So where she had the proof of a receipt with her signature on it, in their eyes, they've got no choice but to see that it's hers and not mine. So I had no choice then but to give it back. But then it was taken off me and I never saw it again. Apart from ages ago, I went round there and I took it without her knowing. But then she found out that it is gone because one of the neighbours saw me with it and um, tailed on me, snitched on me, whatever it is. They told her and she had found out. She came round to um, my dad's, which is... I had moved out by then. She came round to dad's with our friend um, which happened to be a man father and son to sort of help her get it off me and I refused I said it's mine you can't do it but in the end I thought she's just going to call the police again all that hassle when they've got an actual job to be doing not wasting their time with really a civil matter I thought this is stupid so I opened I was really cross I stupidly opened the door and I chucked it at her it didn't break but it's kind of damaged it a bit I haven't checked to see if it's working since um but then recently I've got it again and it's here with me at the house I'm not showing you because well, it's in a bit of a state and I don't really want to show you a laptop that's in a state. But it's a TomTom. -tom. I think it's a TomTom. -tom. I always get confused with names. But she, my mum doesn't know I've got it today. So this is one story of part two. There is more that's happened. But I'm afraid that's going to have to be a part three. Because this is already nearly 30 minutes long. So I'm going to finish up here. I'm sorry it was a really long-winded story, but there will be a part three on its way. So I want to thank you ever so much for watching, taking time out of your day to watch me and look at this face. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!